Okay, so chapter six, uh, it's about spatial modeling still on aerial data. Um, the It's about LIP concert in Scotland. Um, I do not know what LIP is, so I should have Googled it, but I assume it's concert, so it's bad. Um, I like LIP. it. LIP, it's LIP, LIP. Okay, just LIP, okay. Yeah, it's a cancer, uh, it's a type of cancer. Oh, yeah. So what we will do today, it's like we're still going a bit into the SPSF data abstraction because the book uses a lot of SP and I try to use SF because this is what it's, uh, SP will not be maintained, Air, Air Goodall will not be maintained also. The book uses a lot of, I will say, old special infrastructures. So I have tried to propose you, like to show you that we can do uh, some part of it uh, with SF, but I have shown you like three way of doing it. We still practice with uh, special modeling here, nothing new. We we'll just use like what we have done the other chapters. And uh, what's new on the display is we use leaflets as a way to build interactive map. We'll still on the special modeling, what we'll do that we haven't done is like we'll uh, also use um, some uh, marginal um, a fitted value to draw like uh, uncertainty plots. So we'll see that later. Okay, the data sets, uh, and we'll do a lot of branding. We'll do a lot of. Uh... So, what does it contain? It contains observed and expected case of lip concert in uh, males. This is for males in, uh, by every Scotland county. This is 60 of them. Not sure, a bit less than 60, I think 58. Uh, and the percentage of pop, oh, so the, a population uh, that's work in agriculture, fishing, forestry, that's AFF as the data code, also uh, by the counties. So the data are in special AP, EP, I don't know how you pronounce that. And so I loaded special AP, SF, and uh, also uh, special AP load SP, of a dependency on SP. Uh, so you see like my, uh, it's good, like you can see like my uh, uh, underlying configuration of Geos, Goodall, and Proj. Uh, I think I'm good on Geos, later bit on Goodall, and Proj I'm probably good. Uh, okay, so uh, this is kind of an interesting workflow, uh, but it's, I do not think we use it anymore. Uh, so on the book, so this is like, remember, SP is a S4 object. It's using S4, S4 classes. So it's uh, it's a basically a list of lists. It's a bit more complicated, but we can submit that class. I mean, I, I'm sure like both of you have like more experience about S4 object, like because we both went into the advanced R um, book club. But yeah, S4. As far I, as far as I know, is not widely used, but it was used into SFP, and it's kind of a, a weird way of interacting with it, let's say. But so this is it. Like you can get the polygon from the Scotland data uh, uh, in the list. This is a list containing a list uh, and, spe and special polygons, like. Maybe I can go here and show you. I will augment that, increase the, uh, do I control P works? No, not on the desktop tools, global option. Appearance uh, 24, apply, apply, okay. So it's maybe better now. So this is in your markdown. So yeah, if you if you if you check Scotland objects, this is the list. Let's see here. So this is a list, and it contain like uh, inside a list of polygons that contain another sublist with uh, the plot orders, the B box, and the plot posting, and every polygons. The plot order is important because like. Uh, uh, this is what tell you like in which order you can plot them. And it's important when you have like entire ring, um, but it's, it's marginal cases. Like we do not that uses all the time. 
okay and then like a random polygons this is like uh, it tell you also the plot orders the idea of the polygon it's it's back white shire sorry for all the scottish people uh with my accents and uh it contains obviously uh somewhere uh the coordinates here here and it doesn't contain any hole uh, it contains the area i will not be too confident into that etc etc okay so let's go back to the presentation so you can plot it uh plot map with the sp provide you like obviously stuff that's plot here so the you need to add the coordinates on the whole workflow you could do that so air good like uh can save the, all the apsg and projection into a list code here and then you can locate the code that match it and use it to display it so if i this is it okay so basically this um make um, eps uh, epsg function yeah yeah release the list yeah of all of yeah. it yeah so and how do you select it with uh just busy which like it just which is asking you like uh, what is the number that's match this i do not think it's needed the witches i think you can just remove it and the cuts uh dollar cuts with that should work too we can try uh uh just like this is the the code that she, she used so here uh, let's see codes like uh, if i ask codes uh, oh no because codes is the list that's why so the wish uh i let, let's and check like i think codes is the list yeah you said th this code no it's a data frame right. so so it should work so that means we can also filter for those coordinates. Yeah, but this uh, uh, 27,700, where did you take? Uh, this, this is a domain expertise range. So they know like for Scotland, this is a good one. Oh, OK. If, that, if, that... if no one provides you this information, you can say that you can. So yeah, it's work. So you know, the which here, I do not think it's needed. Uh, I do not know why, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another way. But uh, my question is, uh, um, so this is Scotland, but is, is that the same if I use 4326? Yeah, it will, no, it will not provide the same uh, coordinates. It will provide the, the, uh, the um, look, 4326, it will provide you, it also like, yeah. See, yeah, uh, it's not very well. <laughs> Uh, let, let me let me display it another way because it doesn't test it here. Yeah. So you, this is like you see, this is a brush for system. Uh -huh. Like uh, this is another. This this was like remember you have presented it on chapter two. We evolved mm -hmm. it from like this. Uh, I mean, uh, this is not currently any more used. Mm, and I've just, yeah. and uh, if we go like for example like this, so what? Uh, you see here the unit is in meters, and this wasn't the case with the data. So uh, let's see if I go back here. So by hand she write the she you you take like basically like the the whole uh what's what's codes uh what's this return you and you just change the meter to kilometers and this like if you do not know it you can't uh i mean sometimes you can figure it out like you know if you know the coordinate system but you need someone like who collected the data to tell you that if not you will fail you can also like you know uh try to guess with some places and stuff like that but yeah, this is, you need, you need someone to know. Obviously I get an error because this is not any more correct. So uh, the package developers say like, we should move away from Proch for string. Uh, uh, so here, like just quick, I just like create 
other version of map just because I, I will do the this workflow differently. So just to have like that. So another option, uh, if you want to stay in SP, but avoid Agudal because Agudal is not maintained anymore, uh, you, uh, you can use SF and SP. Uh, so you have to keep in mind like this. Uh, so brush for string is a way to access all the map brush for string. So it's a function that's uh, because like if you check like this object SP, uh, you uh, where is it here uh, map yeah. Uh, see, you have one brush for string call, but inside every polygon you need you have also one. Uh, not here, so you need to access this uh, slot here to correct it. So you can access it through slot because it's an S four object, but you should uh, you should uh, you need you need this is the place where you need to change. And this is not just one; you have proj arg, and you can have other arguments here also. Yeah, like this is simple, but sometimes it's not necessarily like this is a list that can contain other other stuff. If I I have seen other stuff here. Okay, so another way is like using SF. So you can use uh, and so why SP? You can use like you can specify the string because it's a string, it's a chain, a, a, a string of characters, and you can get it with S uh, F with ST command. And if you check that, like for example, here, yeah. okay. well, I, I will type it <laughs> quicker. Let's go back to my console. Uh, so if you go strs, let's say like uh, the w, like this one, for example, to change because this is the cut. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not like that so a lot of stuff but also what it's provide you it's provide you two uh stuff it provides you the user input and the wkt the user input is basically what i have down and uh wkt is what you want it's it uh, it's the system the coordinate representative system is the well in a well-known text so you have all the information provided here that's it uh, but it's it's a nicer presentation. It's really bold. Can do that. That's it. Um, so let's go back to it. So you just want the WPT. You do not want the user input to put into your string, your approach for string, because it doesn't uh, give you information. So this is another way just to avoid the air good all. So no worries. This is not very important. It works, but it's provide you the same warning. Uh, also, like this is a warning, like uh, because like currently we are setting the projection system. The projection system is the right core. It's the right one, the one what you want to use. But we are not changing to another one, and we want to be sure that what we want to do is that. So it's correct. Then we can do it only with SF and. So like I converse, this is a ST as it said, directly converts uh, ST object to SF object. So no map tree is an SF object. We can like uh, check that uh, class map tree. Uh, SF and obviously a data frame. Uh, let's go back. And then, like uh, I use set uh, st set CRS, but this is just a convenient wrappers of st CRS. Like I can write you like I, I like using it because it's making clear that it's setting uh, the CRS, but it's write it so because it's a return. Like I can show you here also if you do like st uh, no set st set because it's a set of function. Unlike others, no, just like that, probably. See, this is just like STCRS value return X. <laughs> <laughs> so I like it in my code, but like feel free to use also the other one because, like, you know, it's basically just like what you have used to what you are used. Uh, you know, the difference is, is small. 
Uh, okay, no, not this one, this one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, you have the same warning, like telling you, like, do you are you sure like what you want is like giving the data set the correct coordinate system or want to reproject it? I'm sure like this is what I want, so I'm fine. Uh, and then uh, this is this part is a bit tricky. You want to give the name of uh, of on the map three like name. You want to give it like for every uh, every like line. So this is basically a simplified apply. With a simple function that will just grab uh, every polygon ID. Uh, maybe I should increase that. Oops, too much. Oh. So, you know, this map polygon data, like we can go back into uh, error. This is it. This is one of them. And every one of them store the, um, the name of the country as an ID. So, you want to extract that. But this is a list. See, Polygon is a list. List of it does, uh, five to six uh, county. By the way, now we know it. And uh, you want to extract uh, every um, ID. So you can like uh, I can like uh, let's say map. Uh, let's see if it works. Map polygon. Uh, where is my hat? Polygon. And if we it's a list. Let's simplify it. It will return like a bunch of stuff. And if I ask the ID, oops, no, it's like that. No, still not. Uh, oh, it's lots, probably, yes. Slots, uh, map, polygon, let's see if it works. Air. One ID, maybe. Still not, operator not defined. I cannot, oh yeah, operator. Repeater. Let's see if I work like that. It's like that. Let's see if it works. Still not. Well, let me go see when I've done it. See, oh, polygons, function of X, and I just getting ID. It's the same, no? Let's see. Oh, because it's still the class of it. Let's see, Bob. And if I can bob ID, still doesn't work, why? Because this is exactly what I'm doing here. Yeah, life coding, Bob. Let me see, so this is this one maybe. Yeah, <laughs> finally. Um, but still, I think my function works, so I do not understand why it's not working here. So I'm taking map polygon, and oh, because I apply, uh, and I will apply on every polygon this function, and this return everywhere. And see, uh, other way of doing it is like slot of my polygon and slot of it. So I write it here. But my function you? works. My function works too, so I do. Can I take? You back a little bit. Hello. Tak. Hello. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. It's like he's he's stuck. Yes. Maybe it's his connection, he has to rejoin again. I wanted to ask based on the function he developed for the ST set coordinate reference system. And he passed in the coordinate reference system. I was thinking it was supposed to reproject to that is to ST transform to reproject to the right coordinate reference system. But okay, yeah. Oh, Rami, you're back. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, he's back. I got disconnected. It doesn't like S4 objects. <laughs> okay, 
So it's a bit tricky, but like, you know, uh, S, uh, SP, SP are still uh, very present everywhere. Anyway, we are not like just doing that. So let's go back into it. If you want to know more about it, this is a good link about it. Like I put, I will, I will, I will put it in the chat. So uh, where's the chat? Here. But uh, we'll push it also. Um, where am I? Yeah. No, this oh, one. Yes. Yeah. I think I have a question. Sure, do it. Okay. When you were setting using the ST sets coordinate reference system, yeah. I think yeah. you're passing the coordinate reference system. I yeah. was like thinking either we are supposed to use the ST transform to project to that coordinate reference system. Sorry. Or is everything? Uh, if you go back to the notes again. Yeah, yeah. I'm not transforming anything. I'm just setting it. But if you set, guys, there is no need for transform again. Yeah, there is no need for transform here because I know the data are in this uh, projection. Projection and coordinate system. Or do I know that? Because the author provide that. <laughs> if not, I will not have been able to know it. Okay. But in case we did not know that the data is in that coordinate, we can prove transform it. Uh, if you do not know and transform it, you will probably bring more mess. Because okay. like uh, it will assume you know something. And like let's say usually um I will, I will, I will, I will, I will still give you like another link that can help you on that issue. I add coordinate system. Usually, you can you can guess. You know, like for example, uh, you can see if it's like the system is like you know if it's bound to uh, 180 minus 180 minus 90 plus 80. It's basically like the um, the lat long system. And then uh, if you see like very like, uh, let's say like huge numbers, it's probably UTM. So this is how I, 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 I'm doing it. I don't know if it's, it's clear, but I, I'm basically like uh, uh, guessing uh, because I know a lot of coordinate system and not the representative formation. So when I'm seeing one and that look like, I'm basically trying to project to, to put it on the map and see if it fits. And if it's not, uh, it will need transformation. But like, if you do not know the coordinate represent system, uh, and if you do transformation, it will produce more mess. I don't know if it's myself clear. Yes. Where is the, this Zoom chat? I will post it here. Like, this is good uh, uh, website uh, that provide you like in, in very, in like, this will like save you hours. But yeah, it's the experience. Sorry, like I do not have like better. Like you, you have to guess depending. What I'm doing also, like if, if you work, like let's say in Ireland, I will go like uh, to the national, uh, to like, let's say like I will Google what is the coordinate system used in Ireland, in, in Ireland. And then I will check like usually the four, maybe three, one. And then I can see example of these two and three, one and see what can match with my data. Then I will set it. And after, uh, you need to transform it. Like if you want to use leaflet, you need to be in 4326, like the, um, uh, I do not, uh, uh, WVGS uh, 84 um, one. And that's why you need to transform it. Because like you want the coordinate to be like the correct one to the Earth's representation. See, this is done here. Like so, using SP, uh, it still gives you a warning. Like you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't use SP. Uh, and then, if you want SF, it's basically the same, but the syntax is a bit different. Okay. So here, yeah, why uh, why are we transforming? We are transforming because uh, we want to use like a WGS84. That's the leaflet, a basic one. A bit of data wrangling, I will not go too much into it, but like it's, we have already have done that. Like it's funny how the merge is done. 
inside of the SP package. So if you are curious, you can check that. Let's kind of put it a bit big, uh, not too big. <laughs> and then with SF, you can just either use merge or uh, like a deploy of verb like left join and stuff like that. I used merge here because like I didn't call deployer, but uh, you know, uh, that's it. So this is just a merge of like the data here and the matrix. Nothing too, too daunting. Okay, uh, then I do not know if you have experience with leaflets. Uh, it's, it, I feel it's pretty easy. Uh, so I will not spend too much time on it. Just to not set the map, base map here by default is uh, OSM. Yeah, what does, she, does the code do? Like it's first you call leaflets, then you add tile. So this L now just has the world with the tiling of, leaf, uh, of OSM tile, like the, the, the whole world without nothing, just, just the, that's it. Like now, uh, this is just to create um, a color palette. I didn't know leaflets have a way to do it. So leaflets like uh, also, uh, you have plenty of uh, palettes into our, like uh, I use air color brewer, probably like the one you use Frederic, Frederica, I think. Like this is one of the common one. But if you do not want like leaflet have one and works perfectly. Then like you have this whole world that you have built that have nothing into it. So now you will add borders, basically like layers of the map. It's, it's work with layer. So you are basically like uh, adding layers like with the, yeah, this is like the board, the, the polygon, like you will use them for like the border of it. Uh, so you just, one, one of the important stuff is basically managing opacity on this leaflet map. Uh, and then you will add like the SIR uh, uh, as a legend, like, and this is like, you know, the, it follow like the tidy um, annotation. And that's it, you got your map. Uh, you cannot interact with it because we haven't put labels, but we'll put letters, but it's not like correct. Um, well, first, so far, so, well, we can see like the polygon are a bit like truncated uh, with the hacks, but it works. They could be like more smooth, I guess. But... Okay, All right, this is building, not to you. We will add good label using 3F. I didn't know this function. I don't know if you know it, but I like it so far. <laughs> I will try to use it more. And uh, the use of HTML to HTML to convert our string F to a more HTML friendly. So let's go. Let's go from that. So I don't know if uh, if you have used like Python string F, but it's the same kind of the same. I, I feel the same. So you are basically like will use like some um, string. Uh, so this is like HTML uh, for strong. This will be like bold. Uh, it take like a, a placeholders. Uh, then we break lines. Then it take observe it, a placeholders. Then it break lines, uh, some some text, a placeholders, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you list the placeholders. So in strong will be map counties. Then it will be map uh, the uh, observed cases, why? Then you will run the expected cases, and then uh, this is just like that. And then, because like this text, by the way, is HTML, you use it to render it. And then you just uh, add it here. See, this is just the same code that we have seen before, just adding the labels that you have generated here. So in I, I, I was like, I never, this is, I learned it here. So, uh, and now when you run it, I don't know if you see it, it have like uh, every like uh, county in bold, and this is like nicely presented. Yeah, maybe you can, okay. Some question about that. I think like we could improve it and, uh, you know, like using like some, uh, Capitalize the first letters. Right, you can probably like, uh, I'm pretty sure like there's a new expansion. Okay, so we still have the same problem uh, when you have low population. So that's why we'll bring you the mapping. Uh, the model is the same. So it's a 
po uh, a Poisson uh, model with like, uh, it's not Birgit, it's time here. Should correct that. With like the expect uh, the expected uh, the rate is equal to the expected uh, for every country times the uh, risk. Theta is a risk risk of getting the lip cancer. Uh, yeah, but this is what I have said. So it's we build it as a log it of the risk, which is like the intercept, the effect of uh, a uh, FF, so the percentage of populations that work in the primary sectors. And then you have like two uh, special random effects. Uh, the ones which is defined by the neighbors, like the, we still use like our car model, conditional autoregressive model, like getting information around the country we want to calculate it. Uh, and then we have like this V1, which is still like um, this idea, like ro adding random noise from spatial data with a normal distribution of zero and. So our, our, our conditional autoregressive uh, kernel is the same. We are still taking just uh, every neighbors of one distances. Same that last week. We are calling SP depths. We are calling in la. I will I will I will correct that and 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 I I prefer like calling all the package at the top of the script. But this is just uh, I, I understand some people like it the other way. Okay. Uh, well, the same idea, like we are draw, uh, drawing like the neighbors, like last chapters. As I said, you can directly using SF here. It doesn't change anything, produce the same results. Uh, and then you are like uh, building this in like in red graph uh, with it. So this, this, this will write, NB to in will write you a file, a small text file. And uh, then you are like reimporting to an object. I do not, I still do not know why, but this is the, it works. Then uh, I get like I get eliminated. I I understand finally what was this IGRU. So I I, I guess it was the ID of area for U, and finally the ID of area for V, which are the same because like they are uh, we do we are like modeling deep the same way. But I, I guess it could be different. So and if you are using SF. It's basically the same. Instead of like calling the slots into the S4 objects that contain the data frame, you are in SF, you directly have the data frame is directly what you have. Is it good? So we will use that to our two random spatial effects. Are you lost, Federica? You seem to have questions. No, 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 I agree with you. It's, uh, yeah, no, no, that's okay. Uh, then uh, this is the formula we'll use. So we'll this is the same as last week. So we'll still uh, use like the, the 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 special effects. Like we'll take for every uh, row, so every line of on our uh, data frame. The model is the base aqua we have seen last week, uh, last two weeks. The graph we are using G, and then we add like this small noise, which I A E D is like for normal distribution. We call the function. Uh, here, uh, you should, uh, unlike in the book, for later, you should add that. Because if you do not add, you will not have the marginal predicators. It will not calculate it. I know I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here, this is family Poisson. The data are the same. So I guess if you want to use SF, maybe here you should drop the geometry. So you just use like, you know, uh, S, S, F, uh, uh, semicolon, semicolon, ST drop geometry, the object. So you just have the data frame and not uh, uh, SF object with uh, including the, um, the geom colon. Yeah, it will just return like the predictors, but you also want to have the marginal predictors for letters. So you have to add it. Uh, it. If you remember, you can check the chapter four. I have to to reread it, I'm trying to complete. Okay, so I have done it. Uh, it was very quick, like uh, we can get this, I guess the important part is here, the precision from like uh, the units and the remember the precision in the inverse of the variance. So it's the inverse of the standard deviations squared, not squared, uh, power two. 
but we'll we'll go. I was surprised because it's a huge um, uh, huge number. But we'll see. We'll see it a bit more later with like the plots. So uh, I was greatly surprised. Uh, it was super quick. I you don't know if you have tried, but it's basically like on my laptop, I run it. It's done. Uh, why I'm surprised because it's a lot of parameter, a hyper parameter to calculate. Uh, because like if you do like a MCMC of it, like it, it it will probably like it will not too long. It will be like not, but it will probably like at least three minutes something on my computer, I think. Because you do not have a lot of data, but you have a lot of parameters and hyper parameters. Uh, I was surprised like this number of lip concepts, which is just general trivia, like the people like working in the primary sector have uh, tremendously more risk to get it. It's like, uh, so you can see it's here, like, uh, so here, the S here, it's like you work marginal, but because what you get is not smoothed, you get a bunch of results. So the S marginal will just smooth you the results instead of you know having like a, uh, <clears throat> I should have plot the non, non smoothed one so you can see it. So you call it like rest is the results. Then you need the marginal fixed and uh, you need it for, uh, you could, yeah, you do not, we do not have too much marginal fix because our model is pretty simple, but you could have imagine like you have more than one. Here we just have like F, F, F. You probably have the one for intercept, but we are less interested into that. Uh, so we do marginal. It's return your list, so you just convert it as a data frame. And then this is a classic ggplot, like uh, this is a data frame that's contain uh, basically like uh, the two uh, It's not a data frame; it's a vector, but you as it as a data frame. And uh, so the it it return your densities, the also just like. And that's it. So you see, like the having no effects will be here. So we are pretty confident that uh, <clears throat> that's the effect of uh, on the risk of being working in the primary sector is is a strong effect, and it's around four. But you are very like you know like you have here you plot all the all the posterior distribution of of it. So yeah. This is, I was surprised by that. Question, remark? Can go for it. Okay, but this is, this is, this is it. So uh, now we have like our, our model, but what do we want? Like if we want to like, uh, we have the mean and interval. How do we represent that? Because like we could uh, have this thing here uh, on the result of the model. Uh, here, like the AF uh, effect of it. Well, we have like the, this is the mean that I have represented it, but it's also like we could have like the interval of it. And the uh, medium and the mean are, are very close. So let's go back to uh, our stuff. So here, non, we can still using like the summary fitted values and we'll use like the two column, the mean and the, the two column from the, I do not know if you can change it, by the way. I haven't checked that. I think you can change it if you want other interval. Uh, and then we, 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 we add it like to the net data. Like uh, this is like the relative risk. This is the lower uh, level and this is the upper level of the risk. I think this is what it means, uh, 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 RR is relative risk. So still you build the same uh, color, um, color um, value. And inside of the label on the print on the string, you use just like uh, RR uh, with the R will be like the, the displaced holders. I do not know if you can change the S to be more clear on the press holder you are using in this, uh, in this stuff. Uh, here will be like the mean and here will be like the two um, bounds of it. So you, you do not change anything, like this is just, just a change the label and all, all the plot is the same. And now, as you see, like you have the relative risk uh, for every counties with the lower bound and upper bound. So far, so cool, I think. But, uh, and very like easy to do. Okay, so but what 
you can ask those of question like of excellent probability. This is like the probability of the relative risk, so theta uh, estimates. It, what, what was the probability of it being greater than a certain numbers value? Yeah, it's called it C. Uh, so this is the probability of theta being greater, which is also like the probability of uh, one minus the probability of being lower. This is the same, basically. Uh, and so uh, how to do that? You are like defining the probability here. This is here why you need like um, the fitted value. This is why like uh, on my modeling here, I think I needed to add uh, this. Because if I do not, I didn't have it. It was empty. Okay, so now that you have that, you can ask for the probability of marginal, which will be like uh, this one. So it's just one minus one, the marginal probability with the threshold, and the marginal is defined by uh, the data that you have collected before. This is for the first one, and it return you that. So I probability. So let, let's go back slowly. So uh, this is this term here, the probability of theta being inferior of uh, or equal to C is the P, like kind of the same, like, you know, like with the R basic function, like P norm, R norm, Q norm, and random norm, if you remember. So P is the same ID. So you kind of like, in R you could have asked him, like, you know, you can have like the left or right, but here, I do not think like this P marginal, you can ask for the reverse one. So this is why you do one minus. And then the same, same ID, like you will use an S apply to basically do that on all of your counties. And then, so this, this so you, you build a function, so let's take a marginal, so let's do the one minus one, the in lape marginal with the same parameters. And then uh, you add it at the end of your string, uh, sprint f, like you added at the, the, this probability of relative risk being superior of two. And this is uh, here. And that's it. And now, like, you have it. And I, I found it very, uh, this is very interesting. So, uh, like, here we have like a low number of um, the PI is, is low. But the probability, like you, as you see, like it's 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 coherent with the um, range of it. Like the probability of the relative risk being greater than two when you have like uh, a bond, uh, an in, uh, inter uh, confidence interval from 0.48 to one uh, certain. Obviously, it's low, but it 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 clearly display like some. Can I crow it a bit? Yes, it would be easier. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very interesting. That's very nice. Yeah. Uh, so. Can I ask you, perhaps, yeah, if, I, if I'd like to have one of this uh, um, information set on the map for a yeah. specific location, like just something like that. Yeah. Okay. And I want to frame it like that uh, for for a specific location. Yeah. Is that possible? Yes. Just for like you, you want just for one location or just like for every location? No, no, just for one location. For example, I want to show what is this, what are the. the for example, let's say like you have a uh, uh, a point you want to locate. Yeah. Yeah. Then you just add it. This will be a, a new uh, leaflet. Is like you will add. Um, uh, it will not be polygon, it will add points. I do not remember the correct syntax. Okay. And then uh, you will define it. And then you will define a specific label for it. Okay. Like, it will not be like the, here the label just like return you like um, a bunch of uh, HTML uh -huh. that you use it. Uh, here to use directly leaflet, but I think you have wrapper of leaflets that help you doing that, but I do not know them. Map, map view is a common one. Yeah. So basically, if, if I, um, I set a point. Yeah. 
I add the point, set yeah. the, with the coordinates. Yeah, everything. basically, like you, you pipe it into it. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I, I can use the same label and no. it automatically uh, extrapolate uh, the, the data from the no. coordinates I provide. Uh, you, no, if you check here, like the label here, let's check the la uh, object of the label here. See, this is just uh, a bunch of text that's rendered as HTML. And it will just uh, uh, assign every, every list of text. I don't know if it's, I can't increase the, uh, the side of it on this view. So let's, let's check that here, maybe it's better. So see, it's, it's just like a bunch of, um, of text that will be passed as HTML. Mm -hmm. And that's, and if you want to add the points, you will have to set up label points, let's say, label uh, points, label P. And then you have to set up like something like that, like let's say some value. Um, but if I use the, the uh, simple feature, then I can, I can add, po can add points. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's the same idea. Like look on the, let's go back to this. Here, uh, add polygons. Where is it? And file light option, label option. It's Where a nice it? package. Uh, so, like, quite straightforward. Oh, uh, it's here. So, it will uh, where is it calling the polygon here? Text size, padding. Well, let's go like without the label. It's maybe easier to see it. Mapping series. The simple example. So here, see, you are calling, see, where is the data called here? <laughs> Polygons, uh, Lilef, uh, this is- Yeah, good. it's PAL, but the data should be, oh, it's it called it, yeah, map. Uh, okay. So it no like uh, map, it's called, and then this is like, you know, the tilde symbol, symbol, it will call uh, the, um, the palettes over the variable SER. Mm -hmm. So I think if I remember correctly, if led, but I, I could be wrong. We should I check it? Well, we can check it. Leaflets. Can you can you add the point? Can yeah, you, you can. Add, you, this is you get basically the same ideas as ggplot. Yeah. You add layers. So see, like if you want to add points, mm -hmm. now you can add marker. So yeah, yeah, but here, here, that there's not uh, a simple feature thing. This. Oh is, yeah, yes, it can be. You just define it. Yeah, but if I if I use the simple feature, or if I if I use the coordinates, and then I want to add the polygons, I need to add the simple feature thing. Let me see. So I, I, I I think you just you, this is just adding marker, but I think you can just like. You, you want adding more, more than one layers? Uh, yeah, adding new data. Yeah, let me check. I think it's, it's you just have like, uh, where is it? This is not base map. So perfect label marker. Where is it? Uh, Claw plates. I, I think it's just like a, a basic of adding some. So yeah, you let states. See, you add, add stuff. Uh -huh. Add polygons. Yeah, add and I think you can add points, add line, everything. Yeah. But I do not know if you have to specify the data before. So mm -hmm. I will have to check. I can check that and, and give you a, a reply in the chat. Yeah, 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 you're just asking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually, I'm not a huge ma a leaflet user. I, I use MapView directly, and MapView do that. Yeah, MapView. Okay. Yeah. But it's just a wrapper on leaflets. If I, I think if you want good results, you should go use leaflet or another add-on. Map view just for quick plotting. Uh -huh. But I, I will check that and, and, and provide you an answer. There's even Tmap, which is nice. Yeah, Tmap also like it's do not necessarily use, I see, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Tmap also uh, will use, uh, because like, uh, can use other engine that's um, leaflets. What? 
Here, here you are using leaflets. Map view uh, is also using like a bunch of. Uh, uh, it, uh, it's used leaflets. Is it only using leaflets? Yeah, only using leaflets. So I think both use leaflets mm -hmm. behind the scene. Yeah. So uh, what do we have next week before I go? I think it's me next week. Oh, thanks, Federica. Yeah. Let me check. It's the other one for, for the same. Yeah. We just think to think together. I haven't checked it, but. Yeah. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We are, we are plenty with. Oh, my God. No one is for like the special, the special temporal one. Why? No. Uh, there was all of Femi. Yeah. No, all of Femi is another one. Okay. So it could be me on this one. Okay. So, okay. Uh, uh, the air pollution, it's you. you. You do the air pollution. I do the air pollution. Yeah. When when is it? Yeah, it's the the, the like the twelve. Okay. Uh, well, sorry, the tenth of of December. Okay, I will do it then. Oh, it's lagging a lot. Are you here? Yeah. Okay. So I I think we're good. Uh, we are uh, we we are ready. <laughs> Okay, uh, I reply you to uh, in the, the chat. I, I'm lagging, I do not see you. Okay. Uh, do uh, wait, working. Okay, see you, bye guys. Okay, if you, bye. If you are, oh, you hear me at least, sounds working. <laughs>